Hello guys, welcome. This is Deepika from mytutorialrack.com. Now, in this tutorial, we are going to publish our site, we are going to activate our site, and we are going to enable the site to our members. Okay? So, let's first do publishing the site. Okay, what does the publishing of the site means? Publishing of the site means that you make whatever branding and component com customization you have done. We have added these knowledge articles. We have added some feature topics. We have added this chat, right? So all of this customization, we are making it available to our site members, okay? So that is what the publishing of the site means. Once you have published it, you can add more changes to the site and you can publish it again. That's not a problem. You can publish it as many times, means because you can make changes onto your site on a regular basis. Now here, once you have published your site, you also need to make sure who all are going to be the members of the site. You have to think, do are you going to give access to all the members or you are only going to give this access to the site to some specific customers. Are customers allowed to do a sign up on the site or not? You can control all of that. So how do we do it? Let's go into it. So now what we are going to do here is, and we'll go back to the site here and let's go over to the experience builder. So I'm going to open up this in a new tab. And uh, this is my new tab here. And let's go ahead and hit the publish button. Okay. Once you hit the publish button, you will get an email from them and it will tell you that all your changes have been live, all of that. So let's see if you got an email. So you can see here. So this is the email that you're going to get. Congratulations. iPhone accessories customer support was published successfully and is live on the following domain. So this is the URL to your site. I'm going to go ahead and copy this and let's go ahead and open this URL in an incognito mode. I'm going to open it in the incognito mode here and let's see what happens. When I click on this URL, I get this screen. Imagine you are a customer, okay? And customer is seeing the screen. He doesn't know his username and password. We haven't set it up anything like that. And this is the login screen. You can customize this login screen as well. You can change this logo. You can do all of that. Okay, so this is the login screen he is going to get. Now, what are we going to do here is we are going to enable our site for our customers that we chose. Okay, so let's go back to our site. And in the experience builder, let's click on this one and go over to the administration. Now, this is the place you can control who has access to the site. And uh, we are going to play with this administration section in the next tutorial. I'm going to see you then. Thank you so much.